My question is as follows. You referred in your remarks in connection with the Austin petition that it was a concession, and you referred to the number 19. And my question of you is, what concession is being made, and you imply that a different standard perhaps should be used? First point, Mr. Ickes, and you know as well as I, if you're referring to the presidential primary of 2004 with respect to Senator Kerry, by the time Florida voted in March, Senator Kerry effectively was the presumptive nominee. There was no contest like there has been this year. With respect to the second part of your question, we could not be clearer. We support the Osman petition. That is the petition that you have before you. Also what could not be clearer is that you have the power to partition and determine those delegates. What we are saying is that up to the number of 19, which is the maximum amount allowable under the Osman petition and under your rules. We, the Obama campaign, will support that effort. And we do so, we do so in an effort of unity. Why, Mr. Ickes, is it a significant concession? Because in the state of Ohio and the state of Pennsylvania together, Senator Clinton won a total of 19 delegates. And here we are today offering a resolution that brings Florida voters together that actually amounts to both the victories in Ohio and Pennsylvania. Let us unify. Let us move on. Do you have a brief follow-up question? Uh, yes, Congressman. I, I gather that you do agree with the concept of fair reflection under our rules? The concept of fair reflection? <laughs> Mr. Ickes, you'll have to educate me on what the concept of fair reflection is. No. All right. Uh, we, will, we will turn to Ralph Dawson for the next question. Did Mr. Ickes not respond? He chose not to speak further. 